These are 13 videos that many are not brave enough to watch, let alone experience in real life. All I can say is good luck. Hello, guys. <laughs> not kidding. What up, people? It's your boy K Mass. Now, what if I did do the do the videos with a voice like that. Would you be annoyed? Yay! But uh, anyways, guys. All right, I'm back with another reaction. And before we get into what the video is and what it's about, I want you guys to do me a favor. Go down into the pinned comment. Click that link. That link. And go to TubeBuddy. And download and install TubeBuddy. If you were a YouTuber... This program would help you tremendously. I swear it's helped me with my tag lock, tag words, how to make my descriptions, all the extra stuff with TubeBuddy. Plus, with a paid membership, you get so many perks. I just found out. I just found this out today. There's a website called Audio Hero. With TubeBuddy, you get a free subscription to Audio Hero, which comes with 250,000 royalty-free tracks that you can use on your videos. And sound effects. Also, you get discounts to Epidemic Sounds. You get discounts to a few other different things. And some free templates for your channel. So, guys, click on that link. Install it. Do yourself a favor. Check out it because it's free at first. Check it out. Every little link, that every little click and install that I get will help me out on having my stuff improved. Now, after that, I want you guys to subscribe to my channel. Hit that bell notification. That way you'll know when my well, when my videos go up in the cloud. I think. I don't know where they go. They go to a server somewhere on YouTube on their camp. And like and share the video. That would be so awesome. Guys, now I'm going to be doing a video today to none other than Chills. That's why I started off with a voice. Because, you know, Chills does... A different voice than what he normally does. I've heard his rap videos. Uh, this video is 13 videos you aren't brave enough to watch. I think I proved that to you, Chills. I'm brave enough to watch any of the videos that you put out. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get to the video. Yeah! Yeah! These are 13 videos that many are not brave enough to watch, let alone experience in real life. All I can say is good luck. Number Whoa. 13. Tim, John, and Ben are going to explore a house in the back of the woods that is rumored to be where a clan of worshippers do all kinds of rituals. They wander around in the woods for a while until a rickety white house rises from the darkness. Oh, that'd be dope. Inside, warnings are spray-painted all across the walls in big dark letters, but they do not heed them and press on. I would love to find a house like that. Um, they're using night vision cameras. I've got one. It's an old one. You guys want to see it? Yeah. Uh, I use this when I do, like, stuff I... Like, for instance, I got to do night vision. This is the one I have. I've had this... Actually, I had... Multiple copies of this. I've bought it several times. And this is one I bought so I could uh, go through all my old footage that I have on tape. Uh, plan on getting a new Sony camera that is the night vision. But anyways, let's get back into the video. Tim, John, and Ben take turns breaking stuff and jumping out at each other. But suddenly the three... Oh, I just want to smack them in their head for breaking shit. Maybe... Tim, John, and Ben. I'm going to have to go to that YouTube channel and give them... Actually, I might... If they still post videos, I'm going to do a reaction to their videos. Tag them in that reaction and give them hell for breaking shit. Hey, you don't do that with Urbex. ...become very serious and quiet when they find a dungeon-like basement that leads straight down. The dark area smells extremely foul, and they cover their nose and mouth with their shirts to lessen the stench. The only thing down there besides them are two dolls hanging ah, by their I've necks, seen this video. or at least that's what they think. Suddenly, all three of them are running from what sounds like a creature with a low, throaty growl. Oh my god! 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 
Oh, oh, please show me. Okay, you gotta go. If this noise is real, then it almost has to be the end result of a terrible ritual that none of us are brave enough to see. Number. Way to sell the story, spook chills. Uh, damn, I had you confused. Uh, but way to sell the story, chills. It was a dog. That's more. More than likely, that was a dog. Guys, I have to say it. Chills, you're wrong. Number 12. Well, on vacation in South Africa, Emily Sawyer dares to climb into the shark tank with some of her I friends. I want to do this. She is full of adrenaline and can't help but nervously grip the cage bars out of stress. Soon a giant shark comes prowling along the cage and wants a closer look at the potential meal inside. Yeah. <laughs> the tour guides try to keep the shark distracted with a piece of bait on a pole, but it lunges at the last second and chomps where Emily's hands just were. <laughs> All the other girls can do is watch as the shark almost makes a meal out of their friend's hands. I'm surprised there is not a second outer cage to keep this from happening. Emily got away lucky, but maybe it's just a matter of time before someone pulls back a stump. Number <laughs> 11. Alright, so that's happened plenty of times. Sharks have gotten in those cages. But... This video was enough. I mean, yeah, it attacked the cage. And the only video... You didn't see the video from her camera angle. Why not? It would have been a little bit better if you seen her camera angle, the shark coming at her. Make... Okay. A lone stranger staggers out of the trees while a man is filming the train tracks. The person seems off balance and out of sorts as they slowly walk forward, barely managing to avoid an oncoming train. Just when it seems like the worst is over, oh, another train fast shit. approaches. It lays on the horn, but he doesn't even hear it. Okay. Only when he sees the cameraman pointing at him to get over does he take a step, otherwise he would have kept walking straight in front of it. He owes this cameraman his life, but just- He owes the cameraman his life? This dude needs to go and buy a fucking lottery ticket, I'm telling you, that's luck. Judging from his lack of a reaction, he hardly seems to even care. Number 10. Shortly after moving into their new apartment, this couple began to feel watched, so they installed a camera in the bedroom. A few nights later, they record a full-grown adult standing outside of their window. At first, he is so focused on staring into their bedroom that he doesn't even seem to notice or care about how obvious he stands out against the well-lit parking lot. When the couple inside walks closer to the window and gets on the bed, he tries to be a little more cautious but fails miserably. It's pretty obvious that he is still there and eagerly looking straight at them. He is about as close to the window as he can be, and he is probably really getting into the idea of watching them without being seen himself, not knowing that he himself is on camera. They can see him the entire time, and this is the exact moment that the boyfriend goes out and confronts the man, who quickly stands up and shows no aggression as he walks away. It turns out to actually be their neighbor next door. He came over and apologized the next day, but something tells me that this is a compulsion that he cannot help, and soon enough he will be back at it again. Yo, that's... I've had that happen. That's why I do not want an apartment on the downstairs floor. Like... I had this apartment one time, and I was sitting there, um, I was sitting there watching TV, and I look up in the window, and there's this, I assumed was a woman standing outside my window, looking in. So I walk out, and I'm like, look at him, like, what do you want? Get a closer look. It's a dude dressed as a woman. Trying to proposition me. That. No, 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 no. No amount of alcohol would have had me doing that. Uh, nothing against them. That's something, that's their prerogative. But I'm not, no, I'm not down like that. But, um, yeah, that is creepy. 
If not with them, then with someone else. Number nine. This street nine. cam records a beverage nope. truck spinning out of control around the corner and launching liter bottles of soda everywhere else number nine this street cam records a beverage truck spinning out of control around the corner and launching liter bottles of soda everywhere oh, a student shit. judging from his backpack has to sprint the other direction and barely avoids a carbonated tidal wave there's also a surge of heavy red crates traveling at a high rate of speed at the end, it kind of looks like these could have been steel cans, but I'm not sure. If so, each one of them would have hit with the force of a baseball bat, and I can't believe it, but he managed to avoid every single one. No My reaction, yeah, I would have stayed and made a, made a complaint with the company, maybe taking him to court, you know, because that could have been his life. He might be fearful again, but... Knowing me, I probably would have picked up one of the cans that hadn't burst open and started drinking the damn thing, especially if it was something I like. Number eight. This is apparently police dash cam footage from Arizona. The officer is clearly on highway patrol at night, and after a short while, he takes a turn down a dirt oh, road. I've seen this is this where one. he spots a woman standing alone in the road with some small embers near her feet. Though it originally appears she is standing with her back turned to the police officer. Soon after, she lifts up her arms, and there appears to be two glowing eyes facing the officer. The footage ends shortly after with no further eyes. explanation. I searched but couldn't find any footage of the incident after this part, so we may never know what happened next to this officer. It doesn't look like she's standing with her back to her because she's crossing her arms like that, looking straight at him. I don't see the glowing eyes. And <laughs> first up, glowing eyes? That happens with cameras. It's an actual thing that happens. It's nothing paranormal to do. I mean, why why make that a point anymore? Just, just, no. So, or this woman with glowing eyes, number six. More than likely, this woman was out there. She either murdered somebody and burning her clothes. Or she's burning letters or something from an ex-boyfriend. Or could be uh, a ritual and casting a spell on a scorned lover or a crazy person. I don't know. Seven. Something has crawled up this poor woman's leg and refuses oh, to come out. Shit. Her friend almost has it by the tail. But then at the last second, it does the unthinkable and burrows even deeper. <laughs> The scared animal probably would have gone up way higher nope. if she didn't stand up in time and let gravity force it back down. She is either trying not to scream or lose her lunch as her friend tries again, this time wrapping its tail around his index finger. He manages to extract a giant rat and quickly oh, puts it back damn. in its container. The rat looks used to being handled and this is probably the only thing that kept it from trying to Oh, damn, so their pet rat done crawled up in her pants. Uh, me? My pants would have been off. Nope. Uh, it's not yet nowhere near. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. Nowhere near my crotch. That, that's, it's not, those are not the nuts that he wants. Bite and scratch its way out. Number six. Zaneo barely manages to turn his live stream on and say hello before something unexplainably paranormal happens behind him. Uh, Yo. The wind. It could have been wind, but this shit happens in my household. A couple nights ago, I wasn't here. My girlfriend said that uh, the basement, she was sitting here and all of a sudden the basement door just opened up by itself. So yeah, this stuff does happen. No, somehow goes from being tightly shut to wide open in less than 10 seconds without a sound. If I'm not mistaken, this type of window doesn't even open from the outside, meaning that somebody had to be standing in the room to even push it open. Zaneo quickly searches his house in less than a minute and finds no one else's home. But when he crosses into the living room, 
the batteries in his smoke alarm go off for no reason at all. I know this part is real because this is the first time you hear the smoke alarm beep in the entire video. Okay. Oh, okay. Smoke alarm malfunction. The smoke alarm going off combined with the window opening by itself is enough to convince me that this is probably paranormal. Number five. Okay, what I want to know is, all right, this dude sees the window look open. So he goes to look, he doesn't look out the window, doesn't shine a light out there, doesn't turn the light on in that room, but he goes to look in all the other rooms in the house and so happened to walk into the room with the smoke detector going off. That don't make sense. I, me personally, if I see a damn window open, I'm either going to go shut the window, I'm going to shine a light out the window and look and try to see what caused that window to open. Now, I'm not going to go look around the, yeah, I'll look around the house after I figure out what the hell opened that damn window. Five, Caitlin McIntyre is making a video of her grandpa that she wants to remember for the rest of her life, which actually might be shorter than. It's Caitlin. McIntyre, not Caitlin McIntyre. And she thinks it may seem like nothing bad could ever happen to them on such a perfectly sunny day, but to their immediate right is a sharp drop straight off a cliff. They hit a point where the curved road grows very narrow, just as the sun beats down on their car at the worst possible angle, turning the entire windshield into nothing but a blinding white glare. Grandpa does his best to stay on the road, but the sun is so intense that not even his oversized sunglasses can get the glare out of his eyes. They find some brief cover under the trees, and they can see that the road is too narrow to safely turn around. You can tell he doesn't want to keep going, but it's too late now and there is no other choice. He has to go back into the blinding sunlight and keep pushing forward just a little bit more until he can make this turn. Something up ahead. Scared. He only has a short distance to go before he can turn around, but he almost manages to drive completely off the cliff instead. Starting to get a little worried. I can't even see. Where am I? <gasps> Yo, I've been in that situation, man. The sun blinded you so much where you can barely see what's in front of you. I've almost hit cars, guardrails, curbs. Uh, that's that shit's no joke, especially if you're driving up a damn mountain. Yeah, that's no joke. And the fact that this dude's old, so his efficiency already might be impaired. Oh. Nothing against old people, though. Don't hate me for that comment. Oh my, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Just to give you a better idea oh. of how close they were to falling off, this is a brief glimpse of the side of the cliff. You can see he was still turning right and had to majorly correct the steering wheel to avoid tumbling below. Eventually, Caitlin gets out of the car and guides her grandfather to safety. You can still see that the sun is still totally in his eyes, and it's a small miracle they made it out of there alive. Alright, Grandpa, roll your window down while she's trying to guide you, buddy. That way she can walk beside the car and say, hey, 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 turn left, turn left, turn, uh, ease this way a little bit. You know, it might be a little bit easier. Number four, two friends are fishing when they hear somebody else firing for Hunt not too far away. The two don't think much of it and let the man continue his hobby while they continue theirs. They keep casting into the water and everything is going fine for about a minute and then the two sports collide. Holy! Stop! Hey! Hey! It hit my boat! Look again and you can tell that he doesn't pick his foot up for dramatic effect. It was really that close. When you slow down the video to frame by frame, you can briefly see the round oh. as it bounces off the deck right by his foot. If they had been drifting down river, even just a little fast. That dude got lucky. Both of them got lucky because I mean that's one hell of a that's a charge. He should get a charge. Period. Faster. It would have been a direct hit and a trip to the hospital for certain. Number three, this eight second video shows somebody hanging on outside of the subway in Chicago. Are you serious? Two things about this. Dude really needed a ride, didn't he? Couldn't get on the damn subway. This video. One, I think I can see the blue straps of a backpack, which would make this stunt even harder somehow. 
to you can see him give a thumbs up at the three second mark he seems quite comfortable with riding outside and i wonder how many times he has done this before though obviously it's never a good idea to attempt this number two when somebody quits brave son bitch their job they are supposed to give them a two-week notice this contractor gets very angry at his job site and gives a two-second notice instead in the form of total carnage he shows oh, little shit. regard for the safety of a co-worker there are so many times that i want to do something like this that's that's hilarious i'm i wish i had the balls to do that because you know well wish i had a paycheck to do that because this guy's going to go to jail. He's going to be paying for paying them back pretty much the whole time he worked there getting the paychecks. That's going to go back to that company. Who is trying to talk some sense into him as he repeatedly slams the heavy equipment into the same spot over and over again, bringing down chunks of ceiling each time. Fortunately, he seems more concerned with wrecking the property rather than taking lives. Although he is lucky he didn't bring the entire place down on everyone. Before we get to number one, my name is... Alright, chills. That picture still creeps me the hell out. I mean, that'd be a cool mess though. But anyways, chill so far this video, this one's been a decent video. Give me something great to react to. And I'm kind of getting used to your voice by now. It's been a while I've been watching your videos for the last year. Subscribe to them. Maybe. Yeah. Last year, my daughter, longer. And she loves your voice. I don't think she likes your music, though. She loves your voice. This chills, and I hope you're enjoying my narration. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. Mime one. Kevin Dybin Proc finds himself at the bottom of a ditch. He is not doing well enough to stand up, but he can still hold a camera and record. So he makes a goodbye video to his friends. Oh, and he did try to call for help, but he... This reminds me of an episode of 911, I think, or something along those lines. I watched a movie that had to do with something like this, or a series. Because uh, I watch all these series, you know, so... Couldn't get a signal. The sun sets, and I think most of us would have passed out, or completely panicked by now. But hours later, Kevin is calm and focused enough to think of a pretty good plan. 7 o'clock. I'm using my flashlight to wave somebody down. You can hear traffic pass him the entire time just 50 feet away, but nobody has any reason to look at the bottom of a huge ditch as they keep going. Uh, man, I could use a drink of water. Uh. I am amazed that he is not crying or anything as he calmly says goodbye, totally at peace with the situation. Alright. Love you. Love you, Courtney. Kevin was found by a random person a full 30 hours later, long after this video ended, and his cell phone has lost its charge. He is still alive and okay. If you've ever wanted to solve a mystery for a reward, now is your chance. From local cases all the way to the CIA, solving any of these baffling mysteries will get you around a $100,000 reward or more. All right, so I may go back and do a video for this one and for this one, and I might start trying to research or so. So if there's one local, eh, $10,000 reward would help a lot. Imagine the videos I could do if I had time to do them or the computer to do them with. All right, guys. That's it for the video for today. Thanks for watching my video. Um, subscribe, like, share, hit the bell, do all that, and all that for Chills videos, and show him some love. Because without Chills, without Nukes, without all these other videos that I do reactions to, I wouldn't have no content. And you guys wouldn't see my 
ugly face. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.